Today, we conducted the world's first art fashion show. It's created with a textured plate that is colored with, this one in particular is watercolors with an, a lino block ink overlay and then it is printed on wet watercolor paper. work is evolving out of a body of work entitled Rural Transitions and it's sort of talking about how our um, rural landscapes are changing uh, with the suburban sprawl and with the uh, global economy how it's changing farming into more of an industry. I was a, a fighter bomber mechanic in the United States Air Force and there I learned how to use high-speed rotary grinders. And when I got to Canada after my service, I decided to get into art. And as far as the chainsaw, that's one of the tools that I use, but the rest of it was simply acting out. What I'm trying to do within Art for All Canada is to empower artists to help artists. So we've been doing our shows, our events, uh, our conferences, and running our gallery for almost three years. And we've dealt with hundreds of artists and helped hundreds of artists to achieve this goal of improving their skills, their talents, and also reaching a wider audience with their works as a way of helping visual artists to develop their skills and to learn how to market their products more effectively without paying any commissions. The fashion show came about because it's really hard to get the press to come out and cover artist events. It's a really novel way of showing work. I think it was a fun idea to have people walking up and down uh, showing their work as a fashion show because it isn't something that's been done before and so it is an exciting way to show the artwork being done. 